Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Masha Allah, I know you all miss me. Don't worry, I'm here again. Today we're going to finish this topic, the harakats. And guess what? Tomorrow we're going to have a test and even start a new topic. So the new topic is about how to form a word in Arabic. Do you understand? So we will take maybe three letters. We will start with three letters and then form a word. Okay. In this lesson, you will learn how to read Arabic and also how to bring letters together and form a word. Maybe after some month, mashallah, you will just find yourself there. So remember, every lesson you are getting closer to your dream. It's all about uh, practicing and then try and get the PDF. Just email me right now. I will send you the PDF so that you can go through the, you know, upcoming lessons. Before we even get there, you will have some idea about it. More especially if you're having or if there is someone in your home or in your area helping you, guiding you. That will help you a lot. So try and get the PDF right now. Email me and I will send it to you. The beautiful thing about the PDF is that it's for free and it was written by myself. So I want us to follow that book so that um, we can easily get there. Do you understand? It's like the short way to the Quran. Allahumma barik. So today we're starting from Ta all the way to Hamza. MashaAllah, we're finishing this topic today and then tomorrow we're going to have a quick test and start the new lesson okay so meaning today you have to spend more time on practicing this okay so if you are new here go to my youtube channel all the previous lessons are there mashallah now say it after me so remember ta is a full mouth letter say ta in a full mouth Okay, so don't say ta kasra t. Remember t is for ta. We are done with that letter. Ta kasra t. So this one, ta kasra ti. Ti. And the last one, ta dhamma tu. Ta ti tu. The next letter, dha. It is also a full mouth letter. Dha fatha dha. Good. Dha kasra dhi. Dha dhamma dhu. Dha dhi dhu. Again the dha kasra. Many people mix it with the dhal kasra. Don't say dha kasra dhi. Dhi is for dhal. Dhal kasra dhi. For this one, Make it in full mouth. Dha kasra dhi. Maintain the dha sound. Dha dhi dhu. Okay? Dha kasra is dhi and dha dhamma is dhu. Then mix it with letter dhal. Okay? Now let's um, read everything now. Dha dhi dhu. Okay. From there we've got ayn. Which is a difficult letter for many students out there more especially the beginners but still it's simple okay it's all about training and also we pronounce it from the middle truth put this in your mind okay ain comes from your middle truth okay ain fatha stop saying ain not a the starting is very important and not Ah, okay, don't say ain. That's gonna be alif. Say ain. Ah, okay. Ain fatha ah. MashaAllah, Allahumma barik. Ain kasra ai. Good. Ai. Okay, maintain the sound, not, not e. Ain kasra ai. Ain dhamma ai. Okay. Good. The sound is uh, very important. We've got Ghain after Ain. Again, the sound. Ghain Fatha Ghain. 
then mix it with kha. Some will be like khain. It's not khain. It's not also goin. Mm -mm, not the G sound. R, R, that's the sound. R, 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 okay? Rain fatha ra. Allahumma barik. Rain kasra ghi. Masha Allah. Rain dhamma ghu. Ra ghi ghu. Fa is easy. I would like you to try that one. I'm listening. Bismillah. Go ahead. MashaAllah. Uh huh. Good. Now let's join them. Okay, now it's my turn. Listen to me. Fa fatha fa. Fa kasra fi. Fa dhamma fu. Fa fi fu. Why am I always using my left hand? Subhanallah. Now the next one is qaf. Okay? Many people mix qaf with kaf. Don't use the kaf sound to pronounce qaf. You can't say qaf by using the kaf sound. That's wrong. So the qaf is all about this sound. Listen carefully. This is the qaf sound. Okay? And not if you use the K sound, that's wrong. That's for calf. Okay? Now say it after me. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Take a long breath. Take a long breath. Mm -hmm. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Masha Allah. Qaf. You are ready for Qaf now. Masha Allah. Qaf fatha Of Kasraki of Domaku of Ku again of okay of Fathako. Can you hear that sound of Kasraki? Not key. Qi. Qi. And the last one. Qaf dhamma qu. Qa qi qu. MashaAllah. I just love that rhyme. Allahumma barik. The next one. Kaf. Can you try that? Good. MashaAllah. Good. I joined up. Allahumma bari. Now it's my turn. Kaf fatha ka. Kaf kasra ki. Kaf dhamma ku. Ka ki ku. Allahumma bari. The next one, lam. It's easy. Try lam as well. Good. MashaAllah. Masha Allah, join them. Now it's my turn. Lam fatha la. Lam kasra li. Lam dhamma lu. La li lu. Masha Allah. I'm sure you can try meme as well. Let's do this. Good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Masha Allah. How many of you have said meme fatha me? <laughs> because the letter is meme, so will be like meme fatha me. That's wrong. Meme fatha ma. Good. Meme kasra me. Meme dhamma mu. Ma mi mu. Allahumma barik. The next one. Now from noon to Hamza, we will say this together. Okay? Together. Bismillah. Let's go ahead. 
Noon fatha na. Not noon fatha nu, please. Noon fatha na. Good. Noon kasra ni. MashaAllah. Noon dhamma nu. Let's join them. Na ni nu. I'm proud of you. Now we're going to do ha together. This is letter ha. Okay, are you ready? Bismillah. Let's do this together. Ha fatha ha. Ha kasra hi. Ha dhamma hu. Ha hi hu. So this one is the heavy ha. Okay. And we've got the light one. Not here. The other ha. The ha usugra. Now letter wow. Okay. Together. Wow fatha wa. Mm -hmm. Wow kasra we. Masha Allah. Wow dhamma wu. Okay. Let's join them. Wa we wu. Allahumma barik. Now we've got letter ya. Ya fatha ya. Ya kasra yi. Ya dhamma yu. Ya yi yu. And the last one, hamza. Let me see how many of you will get that one right. Try it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Many people pronounce the Hamza as Ha. Hamza, because of the name, they will be like Hamza Fatha Ha. That's wrong. Now listen to me. Hamza Fatha A. It's like the A E U, okay? Hamza Kasra E. Hamza Dhamma U. A E U. MashaAllah. Congratulations to you. Um, tomorrow we're going to have a test. So all the letters will be written on the board and then the test will be in three different ways. Number one, I will, I will circle a letter like that and then I'll wait maybe for five seconds for you to name that letter for me. And the second way of doing the test, I will just write a letter on the board and then you will name it. For that one as well, I will give you five seconds inshallah. Then if you fail to say it, I will say it. Even if you still get it right, I will mention it for you to, you know, confirm it whether you've got it right or not. And the third way is that I will mention a letter and then you will write it down in your notebook. Writing is very important. So three things are always important to me. Pronunciation, identification, and handwriting, even though my handwriting is the worst. Well, I don't want you to repeat the same mistake. Anyways, see you all tomorrow, inshallah. After doing the test, I mean test, we're gonna have a, we're gonna start a new lesson, a new topic. So that's about joining or bringing different letters and form a word. Do you understand? So it's like we will have alif, ba, or maybe alif, tha, and jim. Then we will use all the three harakats and form a word. From there, you will learn how to. You know, read Arabic words bit by bit. So it's like you are almost there to recite the Quran fluently. Jazakumullah khairan.